Okay, now that we've completed our primary survey and we've uh, done our adjuncts to the primary survey, gotten our x-rays, put our OG tube and our Foley catheter in, we're going to start the secondary survey. We'll start up here at the head. His left pupil is 5 millimeters and minimally reactive. Right pupil is 6 millimeters and reactive. He has obvious head trauma here with a laceration, soft tissue injury, and the left uh, temporal frontal region over the forehead. There's no active bleeding at this moment right now. His nares are patent without any uh, blood. Mid face is stable. Mandible has no crepitus to it. I don't feel any crepitus about his face either. No cephalohematoma in the back. There is a mild cephalohematoma in the front here. Okay, let me take a look at his tympanic membranes. The left tympanic membrane has some hemotympanum. The right tympanic membrane is clear. Okay, I'm going to move down to the neck here. Mark, if I could get you to come and hold C-spine so I can look at his anterior neck and feel his C-spine. Hold C-spine for me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to release the anterior portion of the collar. There are no anterior hematomas. No carotid bruise. I'm going to reach behind you here and take a feel. No gross cervical spine step-offs. Okay, Mark, I'm going to put the collar back on. Thank you. Moving down. His chest has a uh, large uh, amount of ecchymosis to the lower anterior left chest. There's a mild amount of crepitus there. No true subcutaneous emphysema. His lungs are clear, but have, there's a slightly decreased amount of breast sounds on the left-hand side there. His abdomen is soft, non-distended. His pelvis is wrapped with a pelvic sling. I'm not going to re-examine that. We already know it felt unstable. His flanks have no ecchymosis. Moving down. His pelvis is in a sling. I'm not going to re-examine that. We already know it's unstable, and I'll leave the sling in place. Moving on to his extremities, he has an obvious uh, open deformity to the left femur, um, fracture deformity. The right extremity, I don't see any gross deformities on here. I'm not going to mobilize that left or right extremity because of the pelvic fracture. Looking at the other extremities here, No gross deformities on the upper extremities. Moving on to vascular. He has less than two-second capillary refill in his bilateral toes. One plus dorsalis pedis pulses in both feet. One to two plus radial pulses in both arms. Overall, I don't see any other gross abnormalities. His urine is clear. So we are going to need to, uh, x-rays of his left femur, left knee, left hip. We already have the chest. We already have the pelvis. And at this point, we also need to see where we are on locating or on uh, contacting the transfer center. I'm going to cover him up to prevent hypothermia.